just doesn't, he just, I don't, I don't know how the hell the guy didn't get stopped himself. So I told him, number one, you're going to do before I drive this truck away is take those plates off this truck. Because I ain't driving him home with them damn things on it. And the second was, I demanded the heat to work at least. In the end, I did get it for a price I was, I was happy with. I mean, it wasn't exactly what I wanted to give to him. I ended up giving $500 over what I wanted to pay, but that's not that big of a deal. And I will definitely say this truck has paid for itself numerous times, so I, I can't complain at all. Oh well, yeah, another thing that didn't work was the speedometer, so I had no idea how fast I was going. There's still quite a bit of things to uh, get fixed up. Well, she shakes, you can tell the camera's shaking quite a bit, and she's got a wobble. I don't know if you got, looks like the camera's shaking too. She's got a little bit of a wobble. That's all right. These tires are actually uh, bias ply tires in the front. I gotta get new tires, they're, they're actually pretty dry rotted. I mean, they're not to the point where, I mean, I'm gonna drive it in the city, you know. I'm not gonna take it on no long haul. You know, if I blow a tire, it's gonna be around town. It's not that huge of a deal. So, at this exact moment. But, uh, slowly but surely, things get done. Safety items, especially on the list. So I used it all through last year, about six months or so, and then I knew the rear differential leaked, but I should have I should have paid closer attention to it. So it's my fault. What ended up happening was driving it. I was actually going to go pick up a car with it, and it probably wasn't the best idea where I was planning on taking it anyway. It was going to be up almost a two-hour drive. picked up my dad because my dad was going to go with me and uh, picked him up and we just left the house and then all of a sudden the rear end just locked right up boom 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 we're just a hopping she ran completely out of gear gear oil so then the, well, I, I didn't have the money I didn't have the parts I was scrounging for looking for a rear axle and then I knew it needed to have new rear leaf springs, you know, all this stuff, you know, you, you have that, you know, all that apart, you might as well put them in anyway. So the truck sat at my uh, friend's garage. I don't have, I can't get it inside to work on it. That had his muffler shop. So it sat there all winter and it wasn't until April when I Finally got everything together. Uh, everything together. I had, uh, had gotten the rear axle out of a truck that was uh, caught on fire. So and actually, they had just uh, done a lot of brake work to it. So it's a pretty darn good axle. And then I took it to the sandblasting shop and I had it sandblast it and coat it black. So it was, uh, it was turned out pretty nice. And I had the buddy put it in for me because you know he had the space in the shop to be able to do it you know, better than I can so. I was happy to get my truck back and I've replaced uh, hydraulic hoses I've blown hydraulic hoses on this already when I was picking up the barn cars, the first car I was bringing home, I had just put a brand new engine belt, serpentine belt on this thing. And I, that was the first trip. And on the way home, one of the idler pulleys seized up and shredded my brand new belt right up. <laughs> then uh, one of the last times I was uh, bringing the barn cars home, I. Uh, I was going to stop at a stoplight and I pushed my clutch in and all of a sudden, boom, my clutch, clutch goes right to the floor. It was like a little clip that holds the clutch rod, you know, that goes to the clutch master cylinder to the pedal and that clip fell off or wasn't on there. 
course falls right off. Good thing, you know, I have spare tools. I have zip ties because zip ties fix everything. Okay. Just got $25 worth of gas, about seven gallons. should be just fine. Enough fuel to not get us to that halfway point, that dreaded halfway point. Just absolutely dreaded. Don't go there. Then you lose all the gas you put in. And I will say this thing runs so much better after Smiley came over. Helped me put that four barrel carburetor set up on here. Quadrajet intake. We found out that was from a 76 through 78 Corvette 350 motor. The Quadrajet. And I bought the Quadrajet and that intake together. But um, found out the Quadrajet was missing pieces and I just wasn't going to take a gamble with it because I went and bought this Edelbrock from O'Reilly. Yeah, you know, I got to pay top dollar for it, but I needed it. I wanted it now. Get it in there, get it done with. But uh, yeah, after that, you put that in there and then we were, we were just gonna do a basic tune-up and uh, Smiley was working on that while I was working on something else and he looks at my distributor when he pulls it off, pulls the, the coil out and all that, and he looks at it and he goes, um, I don't think your counterweights it should be able to move so easily. You know, this thing ran like absolute garbage. You know, you would put your foot down to the pedal just a little bit and just start pinging. But since I was going to start putting this money in it, I kind of don't have the time to put the LS in it that I have. I wanted to get this engine just so it would run better. And uh, Smiley shows me that. And he goes, looks like you're going to be needing a new distributor. That was my parents that just drove by. Leaving the house, I guess. Anyway, so Smiley and I, we got the new setup on here. Man, it runs, especially with those extra two barrels, I mean, that actually has a, a little bit more power. Actually, here you can hear the secondaries opening. You can hear the, the throatiness, the, the air being sucked in. I mean, what kind of horsepower are you really going to get out of a 305? Once again, we're talking about being functional, not stylish or fast. Big thanks to Smiley. Without him, I probably wouldn't have been able to do all this. If it doesn't have six cylinders in a row, I get pretty confused. And if it doesn't have three letters that say AMC, I get pretty confused. excited to be able to go from 40 to 50 in about 10 seconds but that was pretty exciting well guys if you enjoyed this video please uh, like subscribe uh, let me know in the comments if, um, if you'd like to see something specific or of that nature uh, this is the first video past the introduction series that I made Appreciate you guys watching and yeah please like subscribe share any questions let me know thank you